Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm the mom of Simple Suburban Living and today I'm going to show you our new project and that is our baby chickens. We picked these little babies up from Tractor Supply Company last Sunday so we've had them for exactly a week now and the minimum number of chickens that you can chicks you can buy is six so we've got six Isa Browns and that is a hybrid breed. I believe it's a mixture of the Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White. Um, but with that, we spent about $50 and we got the chickens. They were about $2.99 for each pullet. We have females. Um, we got this heat lamp, the bulb for the heat lamp, the water, and the feeder, and the feed itself. And here's the feed that we purchased, the chick starter and grower. Um, so it wasn't too expensive to start up. We had nothing to start with, so next time it won't be as expensive. Um, but they've already ate half a bag in one week. So these little guys are eating quite a bit. They haven't grown too much. We do notice that they're definitely bigger. Um, they all seem to be healthy. Um, they're a little shy, but we're trying to spend a lot of time with them. And when we brought them home in this little box that they gave us, we thought we were going to fit them into this Rubbermaid tub we had um, set aside for them. But actually, and I would like you know to just point this out so that you can keep in mind that the water and the feeder, I mean, they wouldn't even fit in the bottom of the Rubbermaid tub as well as the heat lamp. So my husband took some moving boxes that we had and constructed this really deluxe brooder for them with duct tape. It's pretty funny actually, but it's working out really well. And they say um, the first week to keep them at 95 degrees um, and then drop it 5 degrees each week until you're ready to put them outside. And we actually do have a thermometer buried buried in the box here. Um, the, another reason why he did these sides like this, which my daughter's one of my daughters is two and she can't see the chickens very well because she just barely comes up high over the box but um, these flaps really do help keep the heat in and we don't notice them piling on top of each other while they sleep um, directly under the heat lamp it's super hot I think it's about 100 degrees but right around the perimeter it's about 85 so between the, di the difference between the two areas we think that they're very happy in there so far um, it's really hard to get it perfect with that heat lamp, but um, if you notice the water noise in the background, there is our aquaponic system and our worm bins over there too, so now we've added chickens to our basement. Um, we do plan on moving the chickens outside, so um, which my husband has started on the chicken coop this week, and I'm going to take you outside to show you that as well so that you can follow us on our progress over the next four weeks until we get these little guys outside. Um, we also have installed, my husband is a computer technician, a webcam, and we've been keeping an eye on these babies at night, um, or just when we're upstairs, it's really funny. Um, we really like webcams. We use one for our daughter, and then have an app on our phones to, um, log in on our phones and, and check on them wherever we are, whether we're home or if we're out away from the home. But there's our babies.